Logistics is the centerpiece of corporate operations at Ludwig Meister. The warehouse of the technical wholesale retailer currently comprises about 10,000 meters of space with high and low shelves at corporate headquarters in Dachau. More than 50,000 items, mainly for engineering companies, are stored here and can be supplied immediately. The customers, which include well-known manufacturers like Audi, UPM or Osram, not only benefit from the availability, the emergency service or additional engineering services provided by Ludwig Meister, they also reduce their own material purchasing and warehousing costs by outsourcing logistics processes. Potential for improvements is primarily available in manual picking operations on account of the variety of products and the many additional tasks like repacking or relabeling. This is where the Institute for Materials Handling, Material Flow and Logistics at Munich University of Technology is helping the company. The idea behind it is firstly to benefit from new ideas and new concepts, most of which we would not hear about. And secondly, the Institute can try out different concepts and approaches without a mass of red tape and can benefit from our practical experience and the opportunities here. The academics are using the real inventory stocks and the real order data at Ludwig Meister for their work. The time building blocks for assessing the logistics processes come from MTM. We have projects with the Institute where times and general processes are being analyzed using MTM. Alternatives are being compared, their effectiveness is being measured, and so we can look at this or that project which we are planning at the moment and adapt it or start all over again. One of the new developments which are being tested at Ludwig Meister is the Pick by Vision Picking System, a joint research project by the FML Institute and the Augmented Reality Department at the IT faculty. Michael Werfler explains how it works. In the Pick by Vision system, the employee wears data glasses where the information required for the picking process is faded in according to the situation. This means that his hands are free to perform his work. Experimental models with this technology with and without a tracking system, which also records the user's position and line of vision, are being used for the experiments at the Institute. The non-tracking version, which only projects the text data onto the picker's line of vision, is being used first at the practical test at Ludwig Meister. By clicking on the portable processing unit on his belt, the employee acknowledges that he has fulfilled the process stage or registers the new inventory stocks for the warehouse management system. Why Pick by Vision interests us is quite simple. We pick more than 1,000 items here every day, and we haven't yet found a suitable system to support our pickers for the really important tasks. I found the concept of providing information very interesting. Therefore, we were involved in the project right from the outset, because we really hope that the pickers will be able to see the information very well and have both hands free to do their work at all times. Using MTM analysis, a theoretical consideration of the pick by vision system was first carried out in comparison to an intuitive list on paper. The time advantages of the pick by vision system were then proven in a series of experiments, which provide an increase in the picking performance. There is potential primarily in the removal of items from the shelf and, if several things are picked in parallel, depositing them, their journey through the warehouse and the error quota. The development of concepts to prevent picking errors and experiments for the permanent use of pick by vision form the content of a subsequent project. Research work in the logistics field will be characterized by close cooperation between science and business in future too, and by the use of innovative procedures and methods like the MTM process language, which has already become established in manufacturing and assembly departments around the globe. I believe that assembly processes are easy to plan in advance over a longer period of time, and the planning work that is invested pays off over a longer period. Logistics processes are somewhat more flexible and short-lived, so we need processes or need to develop the MTM process in such a way that it can be used very quickly to yield returns.